Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about what should you use your fragile resin for. Let's get started real quick with the video. Well, a common misconception, guys, that I hear off often, quite often, is at AR45, just use all your fragile resin and start grinding artifacts. Alright, I don't think that's the case. And I'll be telling you why right now. Alright, so I want you guys to take a look at my characters. So Raiden, with a 20k HP and a good crit ratio since she has the catch, I think Raiden has been fully built. But what did that take? So basically, I could have just gotten this from her uh, trial. It took one, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, let's say about 20 to 30 runs of Thunder Manifestation. Alright, so to claim one Thunder Manifestation reward, you need about 40 resin. 20 times 40 is 800. For you to get 800 resin out of Fragile, you will need to use about 14 Fragile resin so you could fully ascend Raiden Shogun. Obviously the gems are harder to get, but ignore that for now. I'm talking about just the boss. So, and that took a long time to get. But I'll oh, end her weapon. So what did it take to, to upgrade her weapon? I'll be showing it on the screen right now. Uh, I needed to use that thing. Talents. So I have a crown talent. Um, I want to get this too. I want to get both of these to 8. Right? So what will I need for that? Right now my Raiden hits 100k, so I'm not too focused on her. But I will need... That's 16 Philosophies of Light. By the way, a, a boss domain run, which takes 30 resin. So basically what I'm trying to say is that for me to just level up her talents, which are much, much more important and much guaranteed than artifacts, I think before you just concentrate or be fixated about artifacts, you should at least not do the mistake that I have done. Use your fragile resin for artifacts. Yes, you could have some good ratios for every character that you have. For example, another good ratio. Or not good, but at least normal ratio. Since he has pyro damage bonus. So what I'm trying to say is two middle teams for Abyss before I start grinding artifacts, right? So I'm not talking about characters here. I'm not talking about Primo Gems. I'm talking about resin and actually leveling up the characters. So I'll be showing you right here my two teams that I have. So I have two teams, right? Uh, I have Raiden, National but Without Ching Show with Kazuha, and then Sucrose Ching Show Taser team. Alright, these are the two teams that I have right now. And so the characters are good. I could definitely clear the Abyss with them. These are really good teams, they are insane. But what's the problem that I'm currently facing? So nothing really with the Raiden team. She she has a good ratio. She has a good weapon. Kazuha has good EM. Leveled up to 80. I could get him up to... No, no I can't actually get him up to 90. But it would be better if I get him up to 90. That's not the problem. Bennett, he he, he supports, I guess. He has his this weapon. Alright. And... Well, alright, Jang, Zhang Ling is not good, but she, she does the job that I need. So what's my problem is, look at these low levels, right? Xing Shou was in my Raiden National, that's why he's overleveled. But look at that, they're 666. Uh, I, at least they should be 8, except for Sucrose. Sucrose is the only one, I don't know, I just sweated to get her stuff. But for example, I, I need to get her to at least uh, the next Ascension. And her talents at least to 8. And same thing for her. But I, I just suck. I just, I just ascended her today, so yeah. But what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to get out of all this, is that you need a lot of resin for this, right? Probably if I use all my resin now, I'd get about 1,200 resin. If I just, just put, on, put in all my 20. I think a thousand two hundred, yeah. And will that fix my problems? Well, I'll tell you what that will fix. All right. So, for example, Sucrose, I would like to ascend her once more, at least so she could be like 
um, 70 to 80. Jangling uh, later on. I would like to ascend Fischl to the next ascension, get this up to 8, and that's about it. Her the same thing, get her burst up to 8, get this to 6. Um, what else could I fix? I would like to also upgrade um, this weapon, this weapon, this weapon, and this weapon. So, resin is sh fragile resin especially should be used carefully, right? You shouldn't just go and use all your resin for artifacts. Like I'll be show I'll, I'll showcase you my artifacts. So these are my weapons, right? I have four at level ninety. I don't use this one, but I just have it there. I should hope I get a good b catalyst user. Uh, uh, one leveled eighty. We'll get her. We'll get him. We'll get it to level ninety later on. 60, 60, 60, uh, 50. Yeah, that's it. So basically, a whole team uses 60 and under weapons, with only one weapon being level 90 on Shing Shou. Alright, so basically, in a character, the most important things are his ascension, talent, and weapon. Yes, artifacts are important, but as long as you have the set, for example, with Sucrose, like the four Verdes and Veneer, that you, you should you shall have no problem with. So yeah, should you use your fragile resin for artifacts? Probably yes. But after you have at least two good teams with at least level 80 weapons, level 8 talents on the things that are needed, use your fragile resin to upgrade like four characters, only your DPSs to level 89 out of 90, the rest to 80, 90, or even some of them like Fischl to 70 to 80. That is good enough. And then you should you should have a couple of fragile resins left. Use the rest as ha however you like. By the way, I'm not telling you stuff that you, it's a must. Like I'm just telling you meta. So if you want to go have fun with some artifacts, start rolling on them. Sure, you could do that. And by the way, I'm not telling you to not grind artifacts at all. But I think. Artifacts should be grinded with 160 in a week. So you use at least a full tank of resin once a week. But fragile resin should probably always be used for uh, upgrading a character fully. After, after that, just use your resin however you like. So I hope you had fun or learned something new in today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.